Hi, my name is Alison Dellett and I'm the Assistant Director General of Collaboration at the National Library of Australia. I'd like to introduce Professor Rosalind Smith, the Chair of English and the Director of Centre for Early Modern Studies at the ANU and an ARC Future Fellow. Catherine Bode is the Professor of Literary and Textual Studies at ANU and also an ARC Future Fellow. Margarita Marino is the Director of Trove Data and Platforms in the Collaboration Branch at the National Library of Australia. And together we are about to take you through the new Trove Researcher Platform project proposal. I'm speaking to you today from the lands of the Ngunnawal and the Ngambri peoples. I'd like to acknowledge their custodianship of these lands and that of all First Nation peoples. I pay my respects to elders past and present and want to extend that acknowledgement and respect to all Indigenous peoples listening. The Trove Researcher Platform will add and connect new research data, collection, annotation, analysis and publication functionality to existing Trove infrastructure. It will offer researchers new ways of searching, retrieving, storing, analysing and visualising data across the Trove platform. In accordance with the FAIR principles, the data will more easily be exported and the collaborative spaces and the publication platform will enable data and findings to be shared across the research sector as well as to a broader audience through Trove. However, the platform we build will rely heavily on the community watching this video to give us comment and feedback. The interface and the project will be welcome to a broad spectrum of the research community. The project has four aims. First, to build a Trove researcher platform. This will enable new and accessible ways of engaging with Trove's collections, including enhanced data collection and storage. It will also offer new forms of data analysis and publication, making it easier to share and export data. Its second aim is to develop a framework for ongoing partnerships between HASS researchers and the National Library of Australia. Trove continues to grow the data corpus, furthering opportunities for research. The project's third aim is to explore enriching Trove with outputs generated by researchers. And finally, the project aims to develop Trove's HASS community relationship and engagement capabilities. The project will be developed in two phases. The first is the consultation phase. The ANU will lead consultation with the Trove researcher community. This phase will also gather requirements. The second, the implementation or build phase led by the National Library will develop functionality as identified through the first phase. Both the ANU and the NLA will be involved through both phases, along with any future partners. ANU will lead the academic consultation and will coordinate feedback from HASS researchers throughout the project. ANU will draw on its many projects who have existing formal partnerships with Trove and will consult a wide range of users from other universities and institutions. The project will draw on a group of researchers whose work depends on Trove from across the HASS sector to identify requirements and to develop approaches for meeting the infrastructure needs of the Australian research community. The outcomes of this phase, that is the development goals, will be validated through broad consultation with the HASS community facilitated by the ARDC. The library will lead the development, employing a hybrid agile methodology in collaboration with ANU and other partners. We expect that the group of Hass Trove researchers convened in, in phase one will provide formative feedback as we develop the technology and then formal feedback at the beta stage. Opportunities to provide feedback will also be open to the broader Hass community. In line with transparency principles, the results and plans for the project will be made available to the wider Hass community throughout the project. The National Library has built Trove over the last decade, and we've done so in partnership with more than 900 organisations, all of whom contribute content into Trove. That includes 
most of Australia's libraries, as well as galleries, archives and museums. We're incredibly proud of the collaboration and the partnership we've built. And we're also incredibly proud of the way we've been able to develop the research sector through that collaboration. We know that Trove users range from many recreational researchers, but we also have huge use by humanities and social sciences um, researchers across the spectrum. Some of those are using the service in very intensive ways, and some of those are just using the basic interface. We think that we are an ideal partner to lead this project alongside the ANU because we bring our experience of building Trove and working with a wide spectrum of researchers and collaborating with institutions over infrastructure to the table. The Australian Univ National University has a unique responsibility and remit as the National University. For ANU, the Trove project is strongly aligned with the institutional strategy ANU by 2025 through creating nationally significant accessible research infrastructure that enables societal, economic and cultural benefits for all Australians. ANU is an ideal partner for this project with the highest proportion of HASS researchers of any Australian university and a close connection to the Commonwealth Government as major data generators and users. ANU has numerous major projects with existing formal partnerships with the NLA which build on, and in many cases, feed data back into Trove, including the Australian Dictionary of Biography, the Australian National Dic Dictionary, to be continued the Australian Newspaper Fiction Database and the Time Layered Cultural Map 2.0. The Trove Researcher Platform Board will have oversight of the project and will be responsible for ensuring the project meets the objectives set out in the project management plan. The board will meet quarterly. The Trove Researcher Platform Steering Committee will ensure the two teams leading the consultation and bill phases of the project are delivering against the milestones, as well as providing advice and expertise. The committee will meet monthly or more frequently if required. The advisory panel of researchers will oversee the consultation phase and will be a welcome resource throughout, throughout providing feedback and comment as the project proceeds. This panel with ARDC assistance, we be, will be consulting with the HASS community to validate the outcomes of the consultation phase. There will be two teams, the first to progress phase one of the project consulting with the research community, and the second will implement the requirements identified in phase one, developing the functionality behind the Trove Researcher Portal. In addition, the Trove Strat Strategic Advisory Committee and the Trove Partners will be kept informed on the project. The membership of the three key committees will include broad participation from the lead institutions, as well as wide research the wider research community. The board is expected to include two members from the National Library, an ANU representative, a representative from the Trove Strategic Advisory Committee, an ARDC representative, as well as representatives from the three other projects. Um, an AAH representative and AASS representative as well as the project manager. The steering committee will include um, two directors from uh, the collaboration branch, as well as a colleague from our digital branch, as well as the project manager, an ANU representative, as well as uh, two HASS uh, research representatives, an ARDC representative, advisory panel representative, and the project manager. The advisory panel of researchers will include two ANU representatives and five or six Trove researchers whose research is dependent on Trove. Membership of the um, phase teams will be finalised as the project commences and will most likely include staff from the National Library and ANU, as well as contract staff and potentially other institutions. The project will consist of five interdependent work packages with a set of deliverables for each. Work package one, phase one, 
will lead the consultation and development and develop the high level business requirements. There are three key deliverables. Development goals will be identified through the consultation process. The development goals will be confirmed. And finally, um, use, user stories will be developed based on the feedback received throughout the process. Work package two will develop the detailed requirements and solution architecture. This stage further develops the use cases and considers the technical infrastructure required to deliver the project. The deliverables include a functional and non-functional requirements and acceptance criteria, a gap analysis, and develop the solutions architecture. Work package three, this is phase two, begins the implementation of the requirements use cases and solutions architecture identified in the previous packages and will involve the design of the home portal, developing and implementing an authentication access, examining the data sources, developing and deploying search functionality within the portal, develop the annotation, save, store and retrieve research project functions, develop the data analysis and publication tool, as well as the summary, data summary and export download functionality. Include, it will include uh, self, self service um, support, as well as um, we will develop uh, usage reporting functionality. Work package four will be the pilot phase prior to go live of the new platform. The deliverables will include a communications plan, a pilot to demonstrate the functionality, followed by a beta release to seek feedback, and then consolidating the feedback and making the changes where possible. The final phase, phase work package five, will be developing and implementing the release of the new platform and will involve the following deliverables developing and coordinating the communications plan, launch of the Trove Researcher platform, and finally, uh, demonstrate the impact. The use cases are a sample of the type of functionality the Trove Researcher platform might support. They've been grouped in three categories. First, create collections. Second, annotate and analyze. And third, collaborate, export, and publish. In Create Collections, an authenticated user establishes a collection for Perling in the Torres Strait in their project space. They search Trove across multiple formats and categories, for example, text-based records, maps, and people using the terms Perling and Torres Strait and add the results to their collection. In Annotate and Analyze, the user creates a description of the collection and annotates records within it. They can also analyze the collection or selected records from it. In this case, a method for data analysis is chosen from a drop down menu, such as a concordance function, a line graph, or a map. The user chooses which records, metadata fields, and data types are included and how they're displayed. For example, they create a line graph with year of publication as the x axis and mentions of Perling as the y axis. The user describes the analysis, including adding a title, legends, and a descriptive paragraph. In Collaborate, Export, and Publish, an authenticated user will be able to share their collection with research collaborators who can also annotate records. The results of data analysis can be exported for inclusion in a research paper and cited to the original source in Trove. And a user with high technical expertise can take the insights gleaned from the create collections and annotate and analysis stages to access the detailed underlying data via the Trove API and investigate it further using their own or other third party tools. This is an indicative sample. We expect the feedback received through the consultation and development phases will change and enhance these use cases. Collaboration across the sector and with other projects will be achieved in a number of ways. Broad consultation will occur across both phases of the project. It will involve major projects with formal partnerships with Trove, as well as users whose research projects depend on the Trove platform and community users. 
Processes for collaboration will be embedded into the Trove Researcher platform through facilitated sharing of high quality data and the provision of collaboration spaces and by lowering barriers for the uptake of digital research. Inclusive governance structures, including a project board, a Trove Researcher Platform Steering Committee and an advisory panel of researchers will ensure wide reach to existing research infrastructure and relevant research projects. Collaboration will also be enabled by quarterly meetings with the other three approved projects in the HAS Research Data Commons and Indigenous Research Capability Project, all of which are led by or include research teams at ANU. We welcome your questions. <laughs> 